Hello, hello! I'm Amanda Stevens of Pear Blossom Press. Are you ready for the Crafty Meraki Retreat this weekend? I know that I sure am. If you're not already registered, it's a free event. You can just sign up. We'll have a link in the description here. Make sure you get signed up because I can't wait to show you how to make this beautiful light-up card. It's pretty like this, right? But then press the button and ta-da! So gorgeous, right? And so easy to make. I want to show you how to make it, but like any good retreat, we're going to keep things moving along. So I'm going to give you a little bit of homework so that when you come to class, you'll be ready and we can just dive right into making. The first thing you're going to want to do is prep your card base. I cut an A2 card panel from uh, the lightest pink cardstock I had in my stash. And then I cut another A2 panel to go on top and one more layer. This one is four inches by five and a quarter so that when we stick these two together, we have an eighth inch border. And having these two panels on top of our card base will really stiffen it up so you'll have a nice stiff card front there. Okay, let me show you the dies that I'm using. Uh, the retreat is free, but there is an optional kit that you can get from Crafty Meraki that has some exclusive products. I am using two die sets from there. If you don't have these, that's okay. Just go ahead and pull from your stash to find something equivalent. Uh, let's start with the sentiment. We'll use the word celebrate. I want you to cut the shadow from white vellum, just one time there, and then all the letters to spell out celebrate. Cut them twice once from gold and twice from white so that we can stack them up. This is just one letter. You're gonna go ahead and glue those together ahead of time. So glue the two white layers together and then the gold on top so that you have the word celebrate ready to go. And if you don't have this die, just, you know, something in the same family that has a shadow, all right? And then for the cake itself and for the background, all those pretty strawberries and flowers, we're gonna use, this is the Build Your Cake die set. It has a cake stand. Cut this cake stand out three times, once from gold, twice from white, just like with the letters so that we can stack it up and make it nice and thick. Then we've got two layers of cake along with two frosting layers. Cut the cake layers each three times from white cardstock and then cut the frosting from pink. So do that for both the top and the bottom layer of the cake. All right. And that's going to give us a nice stiff piece so that when it's popped up, it feels like it's a chipboard piece. Okay. Now for the decorations, we're going to have candles. Um, the candles you want to cut three times from gold, three times from white cardstock, and then three times from yellow vellum. If you don't have yellow vellum, that's okay, just cut it from the same white vellum that you cut the shadow from and use a marker to color the flames. All right, now decoration wise, we need 10 pink strawberries. You can cut them from that same light pink that you cut the icing and the card base from. And then you're gonna want eight of the white flowers. And these are small flowers. Now, if the center comes out of their flower, don't worry about it because we're gonna cover those up anyhow. So don't, don't try to keep those centers if they fall out. And then you're also gonna need some green leaves and the strawberry stems. So this die set has the flowers and strawberries on one and then another die, you've got the strawberry stem and it cuts two leaves at a time. So I cut that 10 times. That way I would have 10 of the strawberry stems for my strawberries and that gives me 20 green leaves. Use the lightest green uh, cardstock that you have in your stash because we will build some color and ink blend for these. The last thing to cut is just a strip that's gonna go underneath the tab of our battery. Um, when we put our easy light in place, we don't want the battery to drain in the mail. So we're gonna put a pull tab underneath that battery there. So cut a half inch strip by about three inches. And that's all you need and I will see you in class.